Once upon a time, there was a princess whose only desire in life was to marry her Prince Charming and live happily ever after. But on the eve of her wedding, an evil sorcerer cast a spell on the prince, turning him into a rock. With her future at stake, the princess desperately searched the kingdom for a way to reverse the sorcerer's spell, but none was to be found. But all hope was not lost, for rumors and whispers spread throughout the kingdom, telling of a great wizard who dwelled in the southern forest. Entering the forest, the princess placed all her hope in finding the rumored wizard. No help was to be found, and the princess soon realized that she was alone in the middle of the forest without a path in sight. Hopelessly lost, the princess sat on a log and cried. But at this time, the most peculiar person found her. Why are you crying? Because I'm lost and no one will help me. Well, I can help you. You'll help me find the wizard? Why do you want to find the wizard? Well, you see... I've got this rock, only... Only it's not a rock, it's a prince! And we're supposed to be getting married and well on our way to a happy ever after. Well, he's not a very good-looking prince, is he? Hey, no crying. I was just kidding. I, I, I'll help you find him if you really want me to. Thank you, kind. Sadder. I'm sadder. My name's Walter. Well, lead the way, Walter. Gladly. By the way, do you know what sadders are like? No. Let me tell you. And so the princess found herself in a very odd sort of friendship. And despite Walter's rather crude nature, she began to grow rather fond of him. So then, uh, my mother, who I got my human side from, objects to my life, so... But come on, who's the one who had sex with a goat? It's a very interesting story, Walter. Yes, it is. So, uh, what's this prince like anyway? I don't really know. I've only met him once. Once? If you only met him once, how do you even know you want to rescue him? Because I'm betrothed to him. How do you even know you want to marry him? Because he will be my Prince Charming and sweep me off my feet. Where did you come up with that crap? From fairy tales. Fairy tales are stupid. Did you know nothing ends happily ever after? Despite Walter's help, the wizard had still not been found. Daylight was fading, and Walter suggested that they continue their search in the morning. For the night, they decided to stay at Walter's house. Don't worry about it. There's a tree in the woods. He knows everything. We'll ask him in the morning. All right. What are they? They're 
They're so beautiful. They're will-o'-wisps. They keep me company at my house. You know, it gets awfully lonely around here. Well, at least you'll have company tonight. So, you're gonna take me up to my offer then, aren't you? What's that? Just sleep in my bed with me? No! Fine, I'm gonna stick you on the couch. Good night, Walter. Hey, hey, I was just kidding. You can have the bed if you'd like. So the princess stayed the night at the satyr's home. But that night, Walter did something very mischievous. That night, he went to talk to the tree. All right, I changed my mind. What? You can't just change your mind. Look, if you just stick to the plan, everything's gonna go fine. Just tell her you're the wizard, and you won't free the prince. But... Listen, I am going to tell her the truth. But for now, I gotta get back to my house so that I don't look suspicious. That morning, the princess and the satyr set out into the forest to talk to the tree. Hello, good tree. I have heard that you might be able to help me. Perhaps. Do you know of a wizard in this forest? Indeed. Do you know where we can find him? Right next to you. Walter is the wizard. What? Hey, man! The plan was you are going to be the wizard! He turned the prince into the rock. Is this true, Walter? I was going to tell you myself. I thought you were my friend. Really, I was going to tell you myself. Walter? Trust me, the prince is a jerk. Just free him. Fine, I'll free him. You freed me. What? You look awful. Let's get you back to the castle so we can get some makeup on you and I can stand to look at you. But you're supposed to be my Prince Charming and sweep me off my feet. Fairy tale endings never come true. Maybe they do. It was at that moment that the princess realized what she truly wanted. So the princess and the satyr walked off together arm in arm, and, ah yes, they lived happily ever after.